what, a finish of just about six points. Not all that flash. James, it looks like the positive effect from that RBA rate cut already starting to diminish. And it's those areas that had seen a good run-up before that rate cut uh, yesterday that were sold off today. The banks, the high-yielding areas, uh, the telecom sector, the utility space, and Westfield Retail also going backwards to today. So a little bit of consolidation happening on the Australian market. If you strip out the bank's performance, so the big four banks' performance, the Australian share market's uh, gain would have almost doubled there. So the banks very firmly focus. We did see ANZ coming out with its half year result and the market selling off after that announcement and if we have a look at a NAB it's come out with a 32 basis point cut to its standard variable rate. National Australia Bank already had the lowest um, but it looks like uh, its uh, standard variable rate will now fall to 6.99 percent. So all eyes on the other banks. We have a look at the best performers on the ASX 200 today though. Some of the miners doing well. Sandfire and Beetle Resources are the top performers but on the flip side APA and also what if not doing so well what if coming out with its result uh, its uh, financial result earlier on in the week but altogether uh, uh, the Australian market gaining ground up by 0.1 percent the other thing is that the Aussie dollar reached a five-day low during the session if we have a look at the Aussie dollar over the last 10 sessions this is what it looks look like so some of those companies with exposure to overseas revenues doing well CSL as well as uh, well Brambles came out with a positive announcement News Corp and Aristocrat all doing well for our equity market yesterday of course after that surprise 50 basis point cut by the RBA we were talking about you know inflection moments our RBS Morgan seeing 4500 in the short term but the day before that we'd been talking about Morgan Stanley coming out and reiterating 4000 by the end of the year I mean where do you see our market heading one of the key headwinds for the Aussie share market has been that high Aussie dollar and the fact that we haven't seen a bigger impact in terms of that interest rate cut is quite surprising so it does suggest continued Aussie dollar strength I guess the rest of it really depends on that inflection point we are still seeing a high demand for those defensive and those safe haven assets and not only in the equity markets where we have seen areas like the telecom sector and the utility sectors outperforming over the last few years but the area of Australian government bonds which there's still quite a high demand for so that helps the flow of the Aussie dollar as well and helps to keep the Aussie dollar high so the currency still a key headwind and we haven't seen a huge relief coming through from the, that 50 basis point cut that we saw by the Reserve Bank yesterday and that's quite surprising so it does show that that inflection point hasn't been reached yet and usually when you do see a uh, falling interest rate it tends to be a positive for the market and usually you see investors switching from some of the more defensive strategies that we've seen over the last couple of years into some more growth orientated strategies strategies and we haven't seen that yet on the Australian share market so suggesting that we need some more rate cuts uh, for some positive momentum to come into the Australian share market and I guess the other thing is um whether the banks are going to pass it all on. We saw Bank of Queensland passing on 35 basis points, NAB passing on 32 basis points, ANZ's not going to come out with this decision until the second Friday of May, so we're not going to actually hear from them until the 11th of May. And then if we have a look at Commonwealth Bank as well as uh, Westpac, we, we haven't heard anything from uh, those two banks. Westpac has the highest standard variable rate at the moment at 7.46%. So I guess uh, the mechanism to which is uh, that interest rate cut is going to flow on to the Australian economy is going to be watched very closely but unfortunately that Aussie dollar is still stubbornly quite high in the face of that interest rate cut and that's a significant headwind for the Aussie market and earnings. Big uh, stories today Julian that's very much ANZ's uh, result coming I suppose reasonably in line uh, with expectations in terms of that headline number we saw a bit of a sell-off in their shares I wonder if digging down a bit of weakness in their domestic earnings underlying domestic earnings might have been a reason for a bit of a sell-off. We certainly saw that. I guess just in terms of NAB's cut as well of 32 basis points, even if the other three big four banks cut by as much as 40 basis points, they're still going to have a higher standard variable rate uh, than NAB. NAB actually was the lowest in the marketplace, so it was going to always probably see the smallest move out of the big four banks. But in terms of ANZ's result, I guess in terms of the last quarter update, there had been some bullish expectations because we saw some good momentum coming through for ANZ. The, the last quarter, we did see a $1.5 billion in cash earnings and if we have a look at the half we've seen cash earnings of three billion dollars so really that momentum has stalled and that's been a bit disappointing for ANZ as you mentioned James it's their dem domestic operations which um, the conditions still remain challenging what we are see still seeing a higher funding cost we're also seeing a uh, quite slow credit growth here in Australia and increasing regulation but really it was their Asia Pacific Europe America strategy which really 
help them uh, this time around. We're seeing that APS strategy making up around about 13-14% of earnings at the moment. We know that ANZ is aiming for that uh, to be 25 to 30% by 2017 and it was really that uh, that part of the result which was quite impressive. Net interest margin uh, fell pretty much in line with expectations but all up the domestic economy is still remaining quite challenging. I remember the banks have had a pretty good uh, good performance leading up to this interest rate cut yesterday so we did see some profit takers also coming in.